Welcome back. For many local artists, the summer months offer a second stream of income. Whether it's festivals, fairs, or summer concerts, there always has been a way to make a little extra cash. But COVID-19 has put a stop to all of that. Our Cash Matlock joins us live from downtown Columbus with more on what local artists are doing to get by. No festivals and no weekend pop-up shops. It's safe to say that local artists are struggling. Many of them reaching out to area art councils and committees like the one you see behind me for help. Jimmy Criddle is the senior pastor at First United Methodist Church in Columbus. When he's not at the church, he's working on his art. Criddle says he's been selling his work since 2012 and had plans to attend three different art festivals this summer. One in Oxford, the Double Decker Festival, another one in Nashville, the Centennial Art Festival, and then also the Kentuck Art Festival. And all of those were canceled because of the pandemic. According to Criddle, the last few months haven't been easy. Without festivals, you have no way to, you know, share your art with the public. And right now those things aren't happening. So there is no doubt a lot of a lot of artists that have been struggling. Criddle is one of many artists who have turned to the Columbus Arts Council for help. We are getting a lot of calls from our artists. Uh, they are really upset because their summer income is based on uh, festivals. It's not so much the gallery that everyone wants to be in. It's the council's store. We provide over 40 artists with the ability to show their art and to sell their art here. But getting people in the door isn't easy. With no one coming in or less people coming in here because they're afraid to be here, we are taking that to them. And so we've worked really hard in our grant process to do some video production. We are looking at all avenues going virtual. We have to. Criddle says now is the time to go out and support your local artists. Get on Facebook pages, look at what your local artists are doing, and if you can, support them. Buy a piece, you know, gift a piece to someone, and, and it makes a tremendous difference. The Arts Council say that operating a facility of this magnitude takes money. For more information on store hours and how you can donate, you can visit our website, wcbi.com.